Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing a project using the peacock feather dye against the Distress Oxide background. So this is the peacock feather dye. It's a beautiful dye in here. I colored it with the regular Distress inks. But first I'm going to show you how I created the background. And the great thing I found out with the uh, Distress, Distress Oxide inks is that you basically cannot go wrong because if you don't like it, you just go back, add something, take something off of the tissue. It's really, really fun to work with. Um, so I am using the Distress Mix Media Heavy Stock from Tim Holtz because it just works beautiful with the ink. And what I'm going to do, I'm just I'm using uh, three colors, the Faded Jeans, Broken China and Cracked Pistachio. So I'm just adding a little bit ink on my craft mats. And as I tell you, it's, it's so much, I'm having so much fun with these inks. And it works beautiful. These colors work beautiful with the peacock feather, of course. And then I just, I, the sprayer I use. And basically I just dip it in here and then turn it around and see what I did. Because I have no idea. That's not bad for a start. And in this case, I try to, uh, try to keep those colors separate a little bit because as you see, I want the variegation from darker to light. I think I'm going to, because we're here in a, I want to kind of dry it quickly. You can dry it, uh, like leave it to dry in the air, but, or air dry it. But in this case, I will just use the tool, the heat tool. I'm going to add a little bit more ink. Let's see where we are now. I'm now just going to pick up the rest. I need some on that side. That's going to be nice. I think that's going to be beautiful. So clean up my craft mat and I'm going to dry this again. And then the fun thing is if you don't like it as it is, you can uh, like use that spray. And then what I found out is if I just press it a little bit, I get those sp nice spots on there. So don't spray it, that's kind of what I found out, but however you want to use it, because as I say, you cannot go wrong with this one. And you can see those beautiful colors, those are beautiful peacock colors. So that's this. So now I'm going to die cut my peacock feather. So I put it on here and I use a piece of removable tape because I want to make sure it's in the correct spots. Get it out nicely. Here you go. And I'm going to use the leftover pieces as well. So now I have a piece of white cardstock with our clear double sided adhesive on the top. And I'm going to put it on the back of my collared piece. And I cut it a little bit smaller so it's easy to line up. And because I have my craft mat underneath here, I don't need to worry about my sticky part here. So press this down well. And now I want to put back those pieces that fell out of the feather. And what I did for that, so I took a piece of release sheet and die cut my peacock feather. So that's the release sheet from the tape and I die cut my peacock feather. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in here, fit it in here. So just line it up. And then I have exactly this pieces, the spots open where I want those, where I need to put back those pieces. So do this. And then I'm going to pick these and just line them up here. So then you can, you get them back exactly in the spot and an easy way to get them back in the spot. And then I can remove that release sheet again. Let me see. 
I would say that's this one. And it's easy to puzzle back because they're all different. So this one is this one. Here we go. And then press that down. And then I'm going to remove my release sheet. So I use that as a stencil. Oh, one is coming off. Didn't press that one down. And then I'm going to fill it in with the glitter. There you go. Make sure it's pressed down well, all those pieces and the outside as well. And then I'm going to use the glitter and this is the dark mint. So now just pour that glitter over here. And brush it off. I'm going to leave a little bit in there because I know I will polish that in there. Look how nice that effect is, it's just beautiful. And then again brush it off a little bit, bring on my glitter tray. Brush off the excess glitter. Then I'm going to put this on the card. I'm just using the 6mm tape because it's easy to tear. And because this is heavy cardstock and it might have curled a little bit because of the heat tool. I just put some extra tape then in the center. Then I have my mint green soft finish cardstock here as a base. Try to line it up as nicely as possible. Normally I would stand up. But I think I'm good here. So now I have that and I can leave it like that of course, which is beautiful by itself because that background is so nice, but um, I'm going to use that cutout. So that's the cutout from here. I'm going to use that on the card. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here, only on that part, and I'm going to put a little bit on my finger because again, I don't want it all the way flat because I want to have some something going on on that card. And then I just line this up and just press it down here. And that's it. How pretty is that? Thank you for watching. I've suggested a couple of other videos you might like and I'll see you next time.